back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is it's full time MMA Holy flying, flipping, flapjacks, full-time family, you heard it here first. Big John McCarthy is going to be doing commentary for Bellator MMA alongside Mike Goldberg. And all I can say is, yo, what the fuck? What the, what is going on? Big John McCarthy, one of the best referees in the game for all organizations, signing with Bellator to do commentary. Is he still going to be refereeing? I don't know. And you know why I don't know? Because there ain't even no articles out on this shit yet. My boy in real life hit me up like, hey, I'm listening to MMA Junkie Radio right now, and they just announced um, Big John McCarthy's going to be doing commentary for Bellator. I said, what, 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 what? I Googled that shit 10 times, and it didn't show up nowhere. I said, yo, bro, where did you hear that from? He said, I'm listening live, bro. They just announced it. That's why y'all ain't seen nothing about this yet. So boom, it is what it is though. Big John McCarthy, one of the best in the game, and he's gonna be a song alongside Mike Goldberg. We all know Jimmy Smith just left Bellator. Jimmy Smith and Bellator parted ways. If you don't know who Jimmy Smith is, he's the bald guy that looked like Joe Rogan that used to commentate for Bellator. Come to find out he did an interview. He actually went on Joe Rogan's podcast. He went on the MMA hour and he explained, and I actually didn't know this. Jimmy Smith had the bald head before Rogan, and they said after Rogan shaved his bald head, since he was more popular and the UFC was more popular, everyone assumed Jimmy Smith was trying to copy Joe Rogan. But it turns out that's not the actual case. But it doesn't matter, because Jimmy Smith will always be the knockoff Joe Rogan in my heart. No, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> but actually, actually, that could actually come to fruition. Check this out. We all know Joe Rogan has been lightening his work schedule. He went from doing almost every single UFC event to just the North American events, I believe, to, or just the pay-per-views. Now he only does North American pay-per-views. And who knows, next year Joe Rogan could leave the UFC and just start doing only stand-up comedy in his podcast. So with that being said, if Joe Rogan does leave the UFC, who's better to replace him? Than the off brand Joe Rogan, motherfucking Jimmy Smith, fucking Fruityos and shit. Fuck you, time back. Jimmy Smith is a, uh, great at what he does. I've never seen John, uh, Big John McCarthy do commentary. I don't. There's no way he's gonna be able to step in and immediately fill Joe Rogan or Jimmy Smith's shoes. And he, of course, he doesn't have to fill Joe Rogan's shoes at Bellator. But Jimmy Smith did a good job of that over there. Jimmy Smith was. I but but one thing is, you gotta expect John McCarthy to to still succeed. He might not just immediately replace Jimmy Smith, and that's probably not what he's even trying to do. We know Bellator is now with the Paramount Network, they're rebranding, so it's perfect to make this move, What you know, for the rebrand before their first event of 2018, which we all know is um, <coughs> Roy McDonald versus Douglas Lima, January 20th, I believe, at the Forum, Bellator 192. You've also got uh, Rampage Jackson versus Chell Sonnen on that card, as well as Michael Chandler versus Woody Yamauchi. And on that same day, they're going to be competing with UFC 220, Stipe Miocic versus Francis Ngannou, Bellator versus UFC, two huge cards clashing, and Chell Sonnen said, I'm sorry, Francis, I'm sorry, Stipe, but it's going to be hard to compete with for Chael P on free TV and he's got a good point so I'm going to be interested in those numbers but also Paramount Network used to be Spike Network they're rebranding you know their entire sh their entire shtick their entire um they're rebranding. They want everything to look different. And if you've listened to Scott Coker talk about the direction Bellator's going in under Paramount, it, it makes a little bit of sense why they're making all of these moves now. Before they get on their new network, they get everybody used to the changes that's coming into Paramount. So Big John McCarthy's going to be doing commentary work for Bellator MMA. Wow, coming out of nowhere. They got Big John. Hey, this is fucking low key. I don't, I'm not gonna say conspiracy shit, but this is like some, this is just me in my head. These niggas gotta be doing some trading, bro. The UFC and Bellator, and they can still compete and do some trade. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like the Lakers couldn't trade with the Spurs. If they see a trade, they're gonna make a motherfucking trade and go go on their separate ways and keep on playing. That don't mean they're in cahoots or they're t teaming up together. But what I'm saying is, low key, somebody at Bellator and the UFC gotta be making some trades for these moves to be coming. And it would be to me that would legit be tight. Low key, that would be tight as fuck. If they're making trades like, all right, you give me um, Mike Goldberg and fucking Lorenz Larkin and Rory McDonald <laughs> and I'll give you fucking who uh, Will Brooks <laughs> I'm trying to think of the Bellator fighters that came over to the UFC and we'll give you fucking Jimmy Smith 
<laughs> it's like, what? And, and we'll also throw in some fucking salary cap. No, I'm just playing. I don't know what's going on, but this shit is crazy. I can't wait to see how Mike Goldberg and John McCarthy get along. Don't forget about, of course, Chell Sonnen's also part of the commentary team when he's not fighting. I'm a huge fan of Bellator. I was before this move. I am after this move. In 2018, I feel like it's going to be a huge year for Bellator MMA. Same with, it's just going to be a huge year for MMA. UFC and Bellator especially, even LFA, they're going to be having people like fucking Greg Hardy and shit fighting for them. So, LFA, bro, this is a huge year for MMA. We are in a great sport to be in at a great time. With that being said, it is what it is. Uh, breaking news, niggas. <laughs> Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tell me out in the comments. I'm out. Da, 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 da. It's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G.